Hi Scorpio, welcome back to my channel. It's Mary Jo from Enchantress Tarot with your December 2019 tarot reading. Thank you guys for a great year for watching and sharing, commenting. Welcome new subscribers. It's amazing this year went so quickly. And I know many, many people can't wait for this to be over in the hopes that 2020 will bring us the visual acuity we long for, the clarity that we long for in our lives so that we can have a clear head and make wise decisions and just to have peace in our lives, you know? So let's see, Scorpio, what do we have for you? Okay, Page of Swords, if we look at it, this is a child up to the age of 18, depending on the maturity. This is your air sign, Gemini, you know, or, um, yeah, just had a brain fart, Libra or Aquarius. Sharp-minded, witty, maybe even a little sarcastic, dry in their humor. All right, if that's someone in your life that you could pertain to, maybe this message is for you about that person. In general, though, we know this is a messenger. Now, I'm going to say with the sword down, there's been a delay in what you've been waiting for. Maybe you're waiting to get something in the mail or hearing a phone call back. Um, we did have that Mercury retrograde going on, so it could be the delays with that that will be clearing for you. Um, but just knowing that the page does bring us messages, brings us news, all right? The news that you've been waiting for will be coming as, as long as you realize it's going to take a little while longer. It's not going to be as quick. Um, and even when you get the news, it may not be exactly what you wanted to hear, but let's just say you'll get your answer It'll be what you need to know, even if it's not what you want to hear. You know, maybe you're trying to get your child some medical coverage or into a different school or switch a teacher or on a sports team. And you've been waiting and you can't find out until uh, maybe it'll be after the holidays, you know, when we enter into Aquarius. That'll be the next air sign. So that could be the delay or it could be that you didn't find out, you found out they didn't get what they wanted in this team or this teacher, but they did get into whatever this group or organization is that they wanted to get into. It's just not the exact one or as close to your house. That being said, if it's not about a child in your life, like I said, there's, there's going to be some delay in the news you're waiting for. I think it'll probably not come to you till the time of Aquarius. And... Just be open to what is coming because it is bringing something new into your life, a new beginning here. Things are not really clear. It's like a gray area. I feel once you get the news and you can process it, it will give you the clarity that you need and the peace, hopefully, and that there is some resolve to whatever the situation is with this person. Because, you know, maybe this person you've been waiting to hear from, they're not answering you. They didn't answer your phone calls. Um, or they didn't call you, or you didn't get the message that you were waiting for. Again, there could have been delays with the Mercury retrograde, and there's a screw-up going on there, and you'll find out afterward, I never got the text, and they can show you they sent it to you. Or, yeah, I emailed you, but um, you didn't get it. Or they mailed you something, and it took 10 days to get returned to them. Like I said, let it take the time it takes to process this, and then you'll find out what it is that you're waiting for at that time to give you clarity and the answers you're waiting for. All right, Scorpio. Now, this is your ancient ruler. This is Mars energy because Mars was the ruler for Pluto and Aries. Now it's just Aries. So we see a lot of emotion going on here in December. It could be tied into this. Because if you're getting in your head, Scorpio, that's going to throw off your, your psychic mojo. Because you're the second of the mystical houses. You've got that real deep intuition and empathic stuff going on there with your spidey senses. Just knowing that, you can stand through this. You see, on this card, the tower is not crumbling down and collapsing. Some cards, they do show that in different decks. This is showing this stuff going on. And you know the holidays do that to us with family and friends and stress about money and presents, the things we go through. Then if life throws you a few other curves, you're like, how can I handle this? And you're very delicate and sensitive to this, you know, and it might be throwing you for a loop. Just know that this too shall pass. This Mars energy you can be empowered by. 
knowing you are a tower of strength, Scorpio, and many people look up to you because of it, because of your calm exterior. I mean, when you go, you go, and you can blow, and then you just like simmer down. So this could even be your like outburst, that scorpion raging coming up of emotions, this, you know, the drama, all the things that you've been holding in, breaking free of, you know, and a cleansing and a purging even for some of you, and you needed it. But afterward, at the end of the day, you are still standing strong and powered, and you have been enlightened. You are enlightened. See, we're talking a lot about your clarity with this situation. And you knew your foundation could have been rocked and destroyed, but yours wasn't. In other cards, it shows that it crumbles. This foundation is solid with this person or this thing. Right now, surrounding forces and energies are commiserating and they are causing this emotional outburst or internal emotional outburst with you. And know that it shall recede. The crashing waters shall, shall ebb. Right now they're in flux. They shall ebb for you and leave you stronger. People will see your strength where they thought you may have been weak and see that you are wiser than they gave you credit for and you will feel the enlightenment of this too. You're going to feel definitely, wow, look what I just survived and I went through and I'm still standing, I'm still here. And give yourself the credit that you deserve. And remember, Mars energy isn't just about war. Mars creates things. It forges things from the fire. All right? So it becomes stronger. And water on that metal that he's forging make it stronger and stronger. So for you, I think out of this ordeal or situation, you will be even stronger from it. All right, King of Swords, you have two air things going on here. So this could be, again, the same thing. You know, we have your Gemini and Libra, or Aquarius energy with this man. Um, he's usually like my way of the highway, you know? He's the king of the castle. He's very stern, stoic, like cuts like a razor, aloof, airy, disconnected, you know what I mean? On a lower vibration. Higher vibration, he's wise. He's like Mr. Spock, all right? That kind of cool, aloof, but very wise and fair and balanced. This is like that Libra, right, energy. But they don't give you the goo-goo emotion that you like as a um, scorpion with all that lust and desire and power that you have. This person can be a bit disconnected from you and driving you crazy. But they are steadfast and true, and they are wise. It could also be a female Okay, it doesn't have to be a male. This could be ex-military or current military, police, ex-police, police, government, um, judge, anyone in the legal field, anyone in fields with checks and balances, like they have to follow a regimentation. Like even a CPA or EMS, you know, they have rules and regulations that they have to live by and go by, that kind of energy. But like I said, it's always got to be their way, the way they want it to be. Um, and it might be something that you're going to get into a huge fight with this person and you think, this is it, I'm done. Um, at the end of it, for some of you, it could be that you survive and weather the storm stronger, your relationship. And for some of you, it's going to depend. Everyone is different. It could be uh, that you say, like, I'm not going to put up with this anymore and you let out the storm on this person and let them see really what you're made of. And that it's not always the way that they want it to be. Oh, I've never said that before. Wow. So for some of you, you're dealing with a, a person who's truly controlling, maybe even. Um, a bit belligerent. And that's going to be your decision as to after the aftermath, what is left with this person and how you will deal with it. It almost looks like two dragons here in the background. Let me see if I get anything. Yeah, I see all this mutable shades here, mutable shades, you know, they're very muted, tertiary shades, they're not black and white, they're kind of like gloomy and depressing, and it could even be that, you know, with this person, you're just, you're just really not feeling your typical scorpion 
fire and that they're they're kind of watering you know your energy down or they're just too um draining on you emotionally uh, gee scorpio i that's what i'm getting i know this doesn't sound very welcoming but let's see what the next card is let me just see for something else here for clarity all right there you go the emperor now listen i'm gonna tell you this is aries Mars and Aries, like I said, this is your brother's sister energy from the ancient astrology before they gave you uh, Pluto. Who's the boss? I'm the boss, okay? I'm in charge. This, this guy doesn't play, male, female, okay, doesn't play. They're in charge of their life, and look at how he sits, confident, just like he just plopped himself there, you know? This guy has nothing on him. So this could be the energy that you're taking. And I have to tell you, the emperor has a mastery here. In their life, they've gone through a lot. People look up to and respect the emperor because they have all the knowledge and wisdom and they make decisions not based on emotion. They use their logical, methodical sense, but they are fair and balanced, but they don't play games. They do have a loving warmth to them where this is cool and aloof and disconnected. This is passionate and just like you, full of energy that's very fiery. So the emperor shows up when there's a man close to the female, if this is a female in the reading. So this energy shows up when they say, if you can't step up, then step aside. If you cannot be what I need you to be, you need to abdicate the throne. So for some of you, this is going to say, this guy's got to go. Well, this guy is going to just make the choice and go. And it's going to be better from you because you're still strong. And you're standing strong. I'm going to pull another card for you. I just wanted some clarity uh, with this and just knowing with the emperor showing up. For females, this is saying they need to step up a step aside. Now, if you're a male watching this, it's the same thing. If this woman's playing games with your head and screwing around with you or cheating and lying, you know, lower vibrations of this card, same thing. You're the boss, you're in control, you're confident, you're going to survive this, Scorpio. Something better this way comes for you. There it is. Two of Cups. So you know what? You can't get to this just out of the gate. There are times you need to go through this in your life and learn and discern the truth. The Two of Cups is a beautiful card. It's an invitation to love. This is happiness. This is not just sex, drugs, and rock and roll. This is love. This is going out on nice dates, enjoying yourself, socializing, being introduced to family and friends. You know, this is something that is endearing and lasting. It's blessed. Now, you can get to this after you go through this. I wouldn't say it's immediate. This could happen by the, the coming in June because this card is June 21st to July 1st. So it could be that you go through this and get this situation out of the way. Now, for some of you, it could be that you go through this situation and come out stronger and renew your relationship. But I'm really feeling that for a lot of you, most of you, it's going to be that this person has just been lingering too long, draining your emotions, mentally draining you. And if you have a child together, too, it's just been so unhealthy. And it's time for you to embark on this new relationship. And for some of you, this could be a new person coming into your life that offers you everything that this person doesn't because this person may just be too controlling and, um, um, like I said, dry and withdrawn and aloof and disconnected when you need the loving, passion, and connection that this person can give you, male or female. This person really knows how to give you everything that you need where this person doesn't, and this would be the outcome for you. A loving, happy relationship, the conjoining, seeing eye to eye, the embrace, the love, the duality, the partnership, the cups, the emotions, the water, that's you, okay, that you're looking for. Especially with Scorpio, you're so giving. You look to create. What can I give you? What can I do for you? What can I create? Well, it's nice to have this even exchange of giving and receiving. Not that you did all the giving and they took all the taking. You want to have an even exchange of giving and receiving. So I hope this helps you, Scorpio. I'm thankful to everybody, like I said, who's been watching. Uh, happy 
holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Kwanzaa, if you celebrate Happy Hanukkah. Um, I hope you have a blessed, healthy New Year. And as always, I wish you the best.